think I have a question yesterday. I didn't go to school, so I feel so confused that what the math is talking about. Uh, sorry, I don't know this question, so I can't help you. Okay, fine. Hey, why did you come to school yesterday? The teacher asked for a group report at the end of the semester. You are in our group, right? Yes, but did the teacher say what the subject is? Yesterday, we watched a movie called Pay It Forward. I know, I know, I know. It's that Pay It Can hold it back. No, 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 no. no. Does it make sense not to break school rules? None of my business. No, 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 no. That's our obligation. But if we can make life richer, I'm going to give you a try. Hey, everybody! I will say I have an idea. I took time off to my grandma to the Cixi Hospital in Hualien this weekend. And guess what? 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 I found there was a Muslim prayer room in the hospital with a Buddhist background. I checked on the internet and the from the proportion of Muslim patient or caregiver has recently increased year by year. Having such a soulmate prayer is also to show our good intention. I think it's more practical to learn a foreign language to help them deal with judicial issues. It's often reported that some migrant workers working in the catering industry not only have poor working conditions, but are actually illegal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we can. She said it's okay. It takes at least three hours to wait for the grandfather's dialysis. When she knew that we wanted to use her hometown music to design TikTok with us, she immediately uploaded a few music for me to choose. It said she's good at music too. Hey, let me check some videos. The one I was looking for was relatively quiet and she did not speak Chinese very fluently. I'm interested in Joy. Maybe I could create audio picture books with her and ask her to share her feelings of the engaged in mental care. The world should be very distinctive. In the hospital, there are some events on physical or mental health from time to time. Those caregivers spend time to the other in the community, but they seem forget to take care of themselves. Maybe we can invite them to attend this event. And the most important thing is we need to make a note and translate. Meanwhile, we can learn some more general idea for health. My specialty is catering. How about a party? We could invite them to bring their own specialty and then call exotic food party. What do you think? And you serve some dishes and snacks, please. But don't forget, Muslim dough is poor. By the way, remember to buy the meat with halal certification in case someone feels uncomfortable about the food. Yes, being sincere is way to show our respect and the caring. Good, let's go to pay for our party. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> hey, Ellen. Why are you here? You look pale. You should stay in bed. Why do you come to work? Well, no pains, no gains. If I talk, I won't gain money. I need money. But you have overworked. 
Remember, you had to ask them because you were too tired. You didn't notice a steal and was stumbled and bumped and hurt <sighs> your leg. You need to rest. I know, but listen, health is more important than wealth. You have earned much more than ever. I know, I know. But I need money to give my family a bad life. The more, the better. Here comes the boss. Good morning. Welcome to TVX. I'm Hannah. Well, here I'm in a Purple Rose factory in Vanna, which is an iron and steel enterprise invested by Taiwanese. Yes, I'm really excited today to be speaking with Zoe, the person in charge. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Hannah. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Vanna. Well, Zoe, I have heard so much about you. Thank you. You are the proud of Taiwan. Your factory offers employment and high wage for the local. And of course, today we are going to talk about your successful experience in Vanna. Mm. You know sport trade yeah. investment. We need to deal first with supply chain integration. Cooperation involving small and the medium enterprise should also be including as a key focus of cooperation. Yeah. Yes, the new South Bank policy is a crucial part of Taiwan's economy and trade strategy. That's right. By not at the advantage, yeah. they call it a cheap land and a cheap labor. Yes. I lucky to have a cheap local to work for me. They are excellent. Okay, yes. let's move to other station. Yes. See, our boss say we are cheap. But he also said we are excellent. Excellent. Don't be angry. He brings in calm and raises the stand of living for us. We should stand him. <sighs> yeah, following long and destructive civil war, Vanna has suffered a damaged industrial growth. Now, the desire for money, defeat, efforts to limit the damage, pollution, poor planning, and loss of forests have not helped Vanna tourist industry. <sighs> Foreign investment is a mixed bag. We win some, we lose some. That's life. <sighs> so please take good care of yourself. Your family needs not only money, but also you. For all countries, some work here, others get married here, and still others travel here. Yes, people in Taiwan are friendly. Actually, my mom's from Indonesia. Wow, wow. Indonesia! Yes, my parents opened a restaurant with the most genuine Indonesian food and the so called the second generation of new immigrants. I was born here and grew up oh. here. So I have been confused about my identity. People there treat me as their fellows. Wow. There are many training projects for new immigrants and the second generation. I'm just yeah. I want my son and daughter to study in Taiwan. And if possible, work in Taiwan. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I am more confident. I want to work in my hometown. I hope one day. But I'm not concerned with Taiwan. Yes, wow. I will try my experience to eyes and country. That's great. You are as well as cipherous in one piece. The world is waiting for you to explore. You are really the problem. We, we will bridge the gap. Thank you for your attention. Hey, what do you want to eat for lunch? Great. Besides pearl, there are other choices. Um, I'm not sure of the cook followed by Sherry, though. 
Why is our time to eat with you? What do you mean? You are just so picky. You are always complaining about food. Is that my fault? As a Muslim, I can't eat any food not conform to your law. Can you just be considerate and respect my religion? Am I not? How many times have I given out what I really want to eat? Not to mention we can never hang out until the night time. Because I have to go home to pray. That's the only time I can pray during the entire day. Why don't you just say prayers at school or anywhere else? Can you imagine how embarrassing saying my prayers in public? You can never realize how hard to be a Muslim in Taiwan. Cut it out! What are they fighting for? The Taiwanese girl seems to have prejudice toward her Muslim friend. Hmm? Taiwan is so Muslim friendly nowadays. How could that happen? Don't you forget we're not in time traveling? We're now traveling back to Taiwan in 2014. No wonder then how about send them to 2020 when lots of Muslims stir in Taiwan for the welcome environment. Maybe they will stop arguing after saying that. Sounds good. Wait, humans are not in quarantine because of COVID-19. There may not be as many Muslim visitors in Taiwan as usual. Oh, silly me. So what about 2021? Okie dokie. 2021 will sure be the year for tourism revival. Bye bye virus, time to show our divine power. Are we still alive? Calm down, we're still here. Hmm, weird. What's that? I don't think there was a sign here. Can you recognize it? No idea. Look. Party 21? What? What does that mean? <gasps> Are we traveling through time? Unbelievable! Yahoo! It must have something to do with the sign. Maybe it's key to bring us back. Because they get the HALA certificate as the sign shown over there. Are you talking about a sign? Excuse me, do you know what a magic circle is about? No, it's just a HALA certificate. Do you mean it has no magic power at all? Could you please tell me what it is? Oh, it means all the food here are permissible for Muslims. Wow, how lucky a Muslim in Taiwan are. You seem to be interested in the sign. Are you a Muslim? Yes, my parents are from Indonesia and are all Muslims. Wow, it's so nice. Being a Muslim in Taiwan is quite pleasant, isn't it? There are so many facilities catering to our needs. Exactly. Taiwan has been working hard to make it a better place for them. 2019, Taiwan was even ranked number three in terms of providing a Muslim-friendly environment. Indeed, Taiwan is now one of the most popular travel destinations for Muslims in Southeast Asia. What are you guys doing? Let's have something to eat. Oh, it's about time to pray. Would you like to come later? We are close to Taipei Main Station. There's a prayer room inside. Okay, cool! Wow, I can never imagine saying my prayers in public! Way too cool! This is why Taiwan becomes so appealing for Muslims in recent years. In other countries, I can hardly find such a perfect place for praying and evolution. Better yet, there are prayer rooms in hotels, hospitals, tourist attractions, and public transportation. Time to head for the next stop. Oh, we should get going as well. It's really nice to see you guys here. Bye. I'm surprised that the Muslims in Taiwan at this time are so nicely treated. They truly deserve a more friendly living environment. <sighs> I wish I could stay here. Don't be sad. If we would go back, we could make some changes. It's never too late to take action. friendly environment. When entering college, they keep engaging in this issue. On the day of orientation, they did their Muslim exchange student to campus tour. Welcome to our school. How's everything in your quarantine? Good. Tom does a really good job in academic prevention. Glad to hear that. That's why we're on the campus, shall we? Sure. Here is a prayer room and you can do ablution inside. How sweet. There are Muslim friendly bathrooms as well. The toilets are installed with water spheres. Here is a cuisine map. It's just a restaurant with HALA certificates nearby our school. I really need this. Also, there is an upcoming cultural exchange activity. We sincerely invite you to have fun with us. Wow, how was it friendly here? So, I first have to make the changes. Well, bye, I'm expecting Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.
Hello, my dear sister. How are you? I have something to tell you. <sighs> my son brought an Indonesian exchange student boarding our home. What she wears is very different from ours, and her behaviors are also strange. Like she opened news on the carpet and prays. And not once in a few days, but several times a day. Anyway, I can't stand it anymore. Honey, son, dinner time. Maggie, dinner time. Maggie. It is so weird that she didn't hear me. I don't know what she is doing. Fine, I will come again later. Honey, I just went to invite Maggie to eat dinner, but she just ignored me. I really don't know what she is doing. Maybe she is praying. They will do five times a day. Dawn, morning, noon, dusk, evening. Respectivity. What's more, they will change their time with their own daily routines. I help her off E2. Muslims don't like people to follow them when they are praying. Is this true? Mm. Okay, we should wait for her. Let's see whether she will come to the dining room. Hey, you are here. Hello, did you just pray so you didn't answer my mom right? You are right, it's so important to me. When I'm praying, I don't want to be bothered, so I didn't answer the door. Oh, you must be busy, right? You must try my signature dishes, Dong Po Rou. If you don't, I will be really sad. Wow, it looks delicious. But is it pork? Yeah, it is famous that people in Taiwan invite friends to eat these dishes. Thanks for my kindness, but I can't eat pork. Wait, what? Why not? Because I am a Muslim, based on our teaching. Pigs are unclean, so I can't eat pork. <coughs> What's more, in the Western Asia, the origin of Islamic, the surroundings are not suitable for people to raise pigs. Well, it's not a big deal. It is good to eat some of this. I'm not to harm you on purpose. I, I just want you to have the yummy dishes. Whatever. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You should follow us. No, thanks for my kindness, but I can break my religious precept. Just eat a little bit, please. Spare me! You can take it or leave it. Mom, we can eat pork and the animal that are not killed by teachers. What's more, there can be the pictures of pigs, crosses, and alcohol on the package. If there is, the food are forbidden either. Yeah, it is just like our cultures. When we celebrate New Year, we don't give the white envelope. Every country has different backgrounds and cultures. So, we should realize that rather than force others to accept our cultures. Hmm, that's really convinced me. I feel sorry for my misunderstanding. Let's try some other dishes. No worries. Good point. Let's keep calm. And here's come Shesuji, and we have pearl milk tea for dessert. Great! I hope that pearl milk tea in Taiwan is a must drink. And I can't wait to try Shesuji. Oh, wait. About the dessert, my, in my country, the most famous dessert is leo cake. Oh, I like it. I hope I have opportunity to go to your country and eat local leo cake. By the way, I can take a look at cocoa harvesting proceeds. No problem. I will take you all on next summer vacation. Really? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> there are so many different cultures from southeastern countries. So, we should realize the important to learn more from each other. The more respect we have to each other, the more friendship we gain. We should spread love to all corners of the world and promote friendship among countries. We have to appreciate and respect the different cultures to make us closer with others. In this way, our friendship can be stronger. Thanks for all your realization. I'm so pleased to meet my friend with different cultures. The journey of being an exchange student in Taiwan has brought me wonderful and impressive memories. Thank you! Hey, child! You should have recycled the bottles! Here comes the nagging again! Child! 
You are just too little to understand how we can optimize the plastic trash. I was once the innocent as you. Then, what changes their thoughts? Sweetie, let me tell you. It's about 30 years ago, year 2020, Taiwan extended a new southbound policy to buy with her Saudi's brother and sisters. Two is trying students on this program came to our village. Then two girls, a machine, and a miracle. to help those who they barely know. Hello, Ababa. Please collect the plastic bags here. One, two, three. Wow. These tiles can be made into daily utensils like chairs or tables. The machine washes the residue of the plastic. So, would any waste water? No worries. The water is cycled back into the process, leaving no water footprint at all. What's more, this machine is solar powered. This way, it achieves minimum environmental impact. This idea even reaches one of our sustainable development goals. <gasps> Responsible consumption and production! We'll teach you how to make a machine. We can start small, step by step, to raise people's awareness on plastic recycling. That would be so much appreciated. I'm so moved and inspired by our surplus contribution. Why would you spare no efforts to help us? I think this issue is a long walk. Only by standing together will we walk faster. Indeed, we should overcome the circumstances together. And our ambitions should not adopt for compromise. Then, two Taiwanese girls went back. They left their prototype machine here. Miles of hopes and changes were left here as well. I have never lost a contact with the two girls. We both fulfilled the promises that we made 30 years ago to get better. Wow, so now the Venice Village Loops can be attributed to Taiwan and Indonesia's collaboration. It's really our privilege to have been to Indonesia and to foster relationship with the people there. Look at these things. I can't imagine we will have the fashion for trash. Million thanks to the young girls. Million thanks to everyone's efforts. I still remember 
Dallas logo. Action to vision, trash to treasure. Thank you for your attention. Let's take the attendance. Emma. Here. Hank. Here. Bella. Here. Bingsa. Bingsa? Is Bingsa absent today? Yes. She's unable to be here because she is on her period. Well, I got it. Let's start today's lesson. I don't really get it. Why Bingsa can't come to school on to her period? In our country, it's quite common. We have to stay at a small house culture party till the end of the period. We are even not allowed to stay home. So weird, right? Shh. My friends in Taiwan can go to class whether they are on their period. Mom, I'm her teacher. I came back just to check if she is sick. Well, I think Bingsa is set at a Chapati house. Chapati? How come? It is a small hut where girls on their period should stay. This way, we can keep our family clean and safe. Can she just stay home? Winter is coming. The weather is too cold for her to stay outside. She may get sick and die. Holy moly! Girls on period are cursed by God! How ridiculous! As Vincent's father, you can't be so mean to her! Hey, nonsense! A foreigner like you doesn't understand our tradition at all! I can't put my whole family at risk! Okay, fine. But what if Dr. Vincent is against the law? <coughs> hey! What is the pile of the shitted clothes for? We have to pin to go for her period. Seriously? Don't you use pads? It's more clean and comfortable. <sighs> because pads cost too much. Instead, because it's out of our casual clothes, it is free and easy to get. No, we need to do something to change this terrible situation. Let's talk to Mr. Sue. Hi, Mr. Sue. Hi, class. Fiona. Meet my lovely students, Emma and Hank. Namaste. Namaste. Mr. Sue. We want to know that if there are any good method to improve women's life during their stay at Chapati. Yes, even though it has been forbidden by the government, this inhuman custom still exists. It is rumored that some girls died of suffocation after the little fire inside the shed. Some even died of beast attack. Worst of all, they use unclean clothes as pets. It is easy for them to get infected. Although it really upsets us, we still want to make a difference. Sure. But it do takes time to change such an ingrained concept in Nepal. Mm, maybe we can do something to make them feel more comfortable during their period. Hey, how about helping them improve the quality of cloth pads? It may be feasible. I just know someone working in a non-profit organization. They try to eliminate the menstrual inequality caused by period stigma. They also teach the locals to make their own clean cloth pads. Besides, the educate them that period itself is not evil at all. It is a natural part of female reproductive cycle. Sounds great. We can invite the NGO to set up a workshop in the village. Then hang, and I will persuade our classmates to join us. Let's do it! One year later. Thank you for watching our prologue of careful work. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to our new product launch. Now, let's welcome our workshop owner, Emma, to introduce our new product. Thank you. Our pet forwards come from a workshop built by a group of passionate teachers and students with the assistance from Taiwan New South Bank Policy to stop women from getting infected during their stay at Chapati. Produce this new cold bed. It is made of fabrics, which can be biodegradable within six months after being used for two years. Thus, we made it to be waste not and sustainable. Yes, through the cooperation with the new Southbound policy, we are able to invite experts from, from NGOs making gender education. 
They are here to teach the local women the method of making pad forward. This way, we raise the awareness of hygiene knowledge. With the instructions of the New South Bond policy, we built an e-commerce platform which can not only promote our pack for work to the world, but also give the local women a chance to earn a living. Therefore, with the effort of the workshop, we construct three seagulls. Let us care for women. Care for health. Care for her. With, with this girl, let's move forward with pack for work. Thank you. My goodness, more forest fires? Seeing such a beautiful forest burning breaks my heart. Some companies are intentionally setting fire to the rainforest just so they can produce palm oil. We should stop buying palm oil products. I'm home! Mom? Dad? What on earth is going on in here? Lara, we have to move out because someone has bought our home and land. We can't stay here anymore. How could it be possible for our home to be sold? Who bought it? Mom, isn't this rainforest our home? It was, my dear, it was. This rainforest belonged to everyone. But now, someone is buying up this forest, man. And it doesn't belong to any of our people anymore. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> to do something about it. The water source is usually about one kilometer away. To get to the fire's location, we'll have to hike a long way while carrying the police houses and heavy equipment. We'll have to get in better shape, otherwise we won't be able to do it. Keep it up! Uh, hi, I heard you have a new member. It must be Laura. I'm a woman from Malaysia. Nice to meet you. I'm a researcher for Green Union. I mostly focus on the causes of forest fires. I'm from a town called Riau, Indonesia. I joined the local firefighter team with the hope of making a difference. We are all volunteers. How about you guys? Why are you here? I'm from Taiwan. I'm half Taiwanese and half Indonesian. This is Vicky. Vicky is the one who invited me to join Green Union in Indonesia. I'm Vicky. Since we also have serious forest fires back in Australia, I joined the Green Union Forest Fire Prevention Team two years ago. Recently, we found out that main cause of forest fires is due to the fact that peas then are turned off their water when they're converted into farmlands for corn oil plantations. When that happens, the land becomes flammable and can experience serious forest fires. Hello, this is Mawa. To make this worse, the toxic smoke from the fire blankets parts of Indonesia, as well as neighboring countries. Fire, got no time to work! Producers that destroy our rainforest. Those producers are the 
biggest and the dirtiest palm oil traders in the world. You promised to stop buying palm oil in 2010, remember? Nothing has changed! Nothing has changed! They have been destroyed about 70,000 hectares of rainforest in the last two years. A lot of people care about this. We all care. This is the orangutan we saved a month ago. She was pregnant and delivered her baby just two weeks ago. Isn't she beautiful? Those little beings are beautiful. We have to keep in mind that we are not the only beings on Earth and that we have only one home. If we do things that damage our homes and the places where we live and sleep, where, where else can, can we go? go? Thank, Thank you. In Taiwan, an active cleaner stock area is a famous shadow. She has been hit up because she has received rejection of casting rules. Therefore, she decided to visit her grandma to get comforts from her family. Look, Bunny, it's a foreign worker from Vietnam hired by Ariel to take care of her impaired grandma. Bunny, careful and considerate. Taking care of me really well. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it was so fancy. I'm not happy with that. I do. The only thing I can do is to go back to the end. Just arrived in Vienna, wanted to have a local tour.
three years later. Ariel, an artist who is currently returning to Taiwan from Vietnam, is a new generation of youth representative who have built a nice friendship between Taiwan and Vietnam. Recently, you have become a hit event. Could you show how you discover about Vietnam and how you change your mind? Sure. I have a new impression on the friendliness of Vietnamese such as the fact that they are very happy to share their country's culture with us. I have been sharing interesting things with my family and friends, and they are all want to come to Taiwan. My neighbors and friends are eager to visit Vietnam too. I'm proud of you both. Wow, Ariel is really an example for our younger generation. She has promoted the beauty of Taiwan and Vietnam with their high popularity, making their friendship go on and on. Thank you! It's now the year 3080, when the Taiwanese have long been tortured by a known virus, which can even be transmitted via the internet. Worse yet, there is still no viable solution to the disease. To cure the infectious disease, two Taiwanese youth, Sun Kiao and Ji Miao, decided to travel back in time to the year 2019 in Wow, we successfully traveled back in time to the year 2019 in Indonesia. According to the record in literature, it's the origin of the virus. We have raced against the time to find a clue about the disease. Adi, a 20-year-old Indonesian college girl, is passing by. She sees them up and down and was curious about their bizarre dress. Who are you? And why are you two dressing like that? Glad to see you. Well, we are the researchers from Taiwan. And believe me or not, we just travel in time to find a solution to that infectious disease from which my people in Taiwan are suffering. Some strange events have happened here recently, haven't they? Mm, not really, but it is said that many people develop an allergic reaction after eating a novel fruit. All of them have a rage or strange spots on their face, and some of passion even suffer each skin if no one cares about his or her health. I also got the issues rage before, but strange to say, with unceasing comforts for my family and friends, I recover soon. Hmm, that's odd. When will it be convenient for you to show us some of the weird fruits? Anytime, if you are free, I can take you to get some. get transport protein, we cannot successfully penetrate the nuclear membrane of the virus. Is there any progress? We stop. Well, we are at the end of our week. What kind of method have you attempted? All the methods in the world that you can imagine. How unbelievable. I think it's not less fatal disease in our country. Nearly everyone can be healed from it. Chill out, my friend. You can make it. I basically there must be somewhere you didn't think of before. Just think carefully again. Wait, you say that the patient's condition worsened if you don't concert him or her, didn't you? Yes, I think so. What if... What if the key to the disease is concern? But what is concern? Concern is very important between people. We care about each other, ask whether they are fine or not, or just simply greet each other. It is easy, but indispensable in our life. In my country, consent is widely reckoned to be the best medicine for illness. The reason why I could recover less soon can also be attributed to the concerns of my family. Can you teach us how to concern people? No problem. After Chun Kiao and Ji Miao spent a period of time getting along with Adi and their friends in Indonesia, they found themselves more open-minded and willing to show their concern to people around them. They returned to the lab to conduct the experiment and had more interaction with each other. Hey Ji Min, it's kind of working! How incredible, Chun Kiao! We did try some method before, but... But it does work now, and I'm going to tell Adi the good news! We 
congratulations. I think it's because you know how to concern each other. You think of those who need you and concern you while performing the experiment. Sad to say. But now, we should travel in time back to the year 3080 and bring the good news to Taiwanese people. Does this mean that we are going to separate? I'm sorry to say yes, but I promise that we will meet again soon. Thank, Thank you for showing us what concern is and how important it is while well, getting along with others. Bye bye, Salamatinka. After successful, successfully synthesizing the medicine in 3080, they finally saved it. One day in the library, while Chen Jiao was reading some literature reviews about the deadly coronavirus, she learned that in 2020, a novel coronavirus called COVID-19 struck the world and led to many deaths. Look, the world was in the midst of coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Since it emerged in Asia in 2019, the virus has spread quickly to every continent. People work together to slow the spread of the virus, and I'm worried about it very much. I'm sure to power plane a visit to Indonesia. Sounds great. Actions speak louder than words. Thank, Thank you. you. The year is 2022. COVID-19 has been defeated, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the friend. Somebody's getting fired. Oh, it's me. I know it. I just know it. Nobody's getting fired. <laughs> the minister wouldn't get us all here together. Good was... morning, team. As you know, our neighbors, our friends to the south, have suffered horribly over the last two years. Their pain is reminiscent of what we went through back in 2003. But we learned, we prepared, we were ready. And now it's time to share our experience, our knowledge, our know-how with our friends. So, we're sending one of you to our closest friends, the Philippines, to outline our assistance plan. Charlie, why can't you be ready? Me, Mr. Minister? Of course you! Were you not a two-time honorable mention winner in the National Junior That's Pro not really hey. winning. Shh. I'm just saying. You can do this. I'm not sure if I can. Jeff. You are going with him. Yes. So this yes. settled them. Be your junior <laughs> diplomat and make us proud. I dodged that bullet, oh, didn't I? Good oh, luck, Charlie. Oh, it's hot oh, over there. Don't let him see you sweat. Don't pay attention to her. Look, I'll handle all the technical stuff, and you take care of the diplomacy end. We got this, all right? And now the friend in need. Toby, everything is ready, but I'm worried. Okay. What if they ask for it? Welcome, gentlemen! So glad to have you here! Thank you both for coming. We really appreciate it. It's our pleasure. We're helped you here! Uh, I mean, we're here to help you. Oh, yeah. Let's get started, shall we? Please, please tell us. How did you do it? Well, we take another step. First, to... stop all trouble from the outbreak area. Then, Impose a two-week mandatory quarantine on visitors from countries with confirmed cases. What measures should we take yeah. in country? That's a good question. Nationalize the production of masks and ration them to ensure availability. Then make wearing them social distancing and temperature checks compulsory everywhere. What can our government do to reassure the people that are doing everything they can? That's very we important. We combine travel see. data with our national health insurance card to confirm people who may be of high risk. Also, we have a daily press conference to keep the public well informed of any new cases. That's a lot of information. Thank you. Is it okay if we take a short break so my colleague and I can discuss a few things? Sure, sure. Take your time. Take your time. I'm so no. It's okay. Just ask them. Be strong. Have faith. 
Finally, everyone, the friend indeed. Gentlemen, gentlemen, again, I must express our most sincere yes, gratitude for all your assistance and your kindness that you've shown here today. No cue, no cue. But, friends, I have to ask, what is it that you're asking from us in return? We don't have much, yeah. but maybe we can come to an arrangement? Uh, uh, arrangement? Uh, allow me to explain this to you very clearly, all right? We didn't come here to make some kind of deal. We didn't come here looking for anything. Turn. We came here to help. Period. You are our closest neighbor. There are tens of thousands of Filipinos living and working in Taiwan. We depend on you for so much. So we're here to let you know that you can depend on us. Because that's what neighbors, that's what friends do for each other. Now, we're ready to time. Thank right? you, oh, thank oh, you oh, from oh. the bottom of our heart. Oh dear Lord, God bless you. You know, we've lost thousands of lives. Well, let's make sure that never happens again. We'll be in touch. See you again soon. You thank you. God, salamas adios. Thank time one. Thank you. All the world's a stage. All the men and the women are merely players. Ah, the world is under an infinite trade war. Two great martial arts masters wanted to improve Taiwan under the lockdown, devoted to finding a solution. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a close look at their stories. Welcome, Gu Jing and Huang Rong. Hi. Ah! Ah! Enough! Ah! Long -er. in the last battles, we lost many battles and resources. Although we defeated enemies, my down generating head is rusty. Ah! I'm afraid to lose the war. Jing Ga Ga, you are the enemy's hero, and you have our support. Then, for the counter warrior, has brought many talents to help us. I believe it's easy to win the next battle. Why should you worry so much? I know, I know. But a train around the world gets tougher. We are still locked down. Limited resources are hindering us. Although, Guo brought many talents to us, but they won't stay here for good. Ah, I fear we can't afford it. <sighs> That's true. Uncle Guo and Guo, Guo are come to see you. Ah, why do you look unhappy? Your uncle worries about our country's future. Our enemy is too strong. Now, we don't have a good solution. Ah, oh. uh, next time we can't win. That's what I concern too. I think our country needs a little change. Let me introduce one of my friends. He's another talent from Vietnam. He may give us a hand. This is Alex. This is Master Guo Jing and Master Huang Rong. Wait, wait, wait. Guo. He is a foreigner. I'm afraid that we can't have a good communication. Master Wu, it's not a problem. I can speak English and a little bit of Chinese. Alex has just graduated from NTU. He has lived here for a long time, so the language is not a big gap. So, Alex, why do you want to stay here to help us instead of going back to your country? Actually, I love Taiwan, and I major in engineering and marketing. This island fosters me. Besides, 
I believe it is only in Taiwan that I can use what I learned anyway. He misses one thing. His country is also under attack of the threat of our mutual enemy. He also wants to help his people too. He trusts we can work together and help each other. Okay, I have known his ambition and expectation, but how does your major help us? Ha ha ha. Look at this. This is a website e-commerce platform. Oh, wow. I've built it for many years. With this, we can trade everything easily. Wow. And you can sell many products to South Asia and Asia. You can expand your finance and a breakthrough the bottleneck. Just click this and the left. See? Wow, a million dollars! How amazing! What's better? This new technique can not only help you defy the enemy, but also strengthen your country. So good! And make more friends. So nice! Kill two birds with one stone. What a wonderful way! We definitely work together well. I will deal with the regulations and the paperwork right away. By the way, the capital is not a problem anymore. We support you. Let's do it as fast as possible. Okay. You really throw me away. I have a requirement. I want you to introduce more talents in your country to us. We can support you everything you need, like my unique martial art down dragon dance. We feel you oh. can have an ability to defend yourself after having it. Think, Master. I'll do my best. I believe we can have a good partnership. Uncle and Aunt Bo, I'm glad to see us have more allies. We should give this action a call and make a policy to share our offspring. It is a good idea. We can call this as new soft spot policy in memory of our cooperation. Haha! <laughs> great, great! When I get this policy, they can hurt our base. That's right! We, we can have a brighter future! the classroom and give the local students a good environment to study. Let's, Let's go for it! it. Yeah, I took it. 
my bag. So? How can you go through my stuff without my consent? I took it and after I finish using it, I will return it to you. <sighs> Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. Something seems to be wrong. You look upset. Sherry took my ointment without asking me. Oh, it was because Vanessa got hurt. Luckily, she found your ointment. What? Thirsty, thirsty, where is my water? Oh, here it is. Hey, is that Bonnie's camera? Let me help her keep track of her experiences here. Say cheese. Bonnie. Cheese. Cheese. Wait, is that my camera? Oh. Unbelievable. It's mine. You, you're such a thief. See? Hey, I did it. Oh, what a day. How can I get rid of those things? The mud is everywhere. I guess Lydia has clean clothes in her bag. Ugh. No, maybe Vanessa has one. <sighs> yes, here you go. Get changed and you will feel more comfortable. Thank you, but you don't have to do that. Yeah, that's what I should do. Friends are supposed to help each other. Vanessa will also do the same. In our country, we give friends what they need. Now, can you understand? In Sherry's culture, things are shared. Everything belongs to everybody. So when Sherry took your ointment and camera, she didn't mean to be offensive. I also need to apologize. I should have learned more about cultural differences before doing anything. This way, the conflicts could have been avoided. I learned the lesson too. I shouldn't have thrown, thrown attention. After all, Sherry did it out of goodwill and people do things in different ways. so fast. Yeah, it seems that we just got here yesterday. Time to leave now. I must go. I'll cherish the memories we have. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Understand, there can be snakes or other animals around us. It's so hot here. Sir, why are we here in such a hot and wild forest? We are here for the cure for dengue fever to save Taiwan's epidemic situation. Don't you remember? But why did you pick Vienna? Is that here also breeding ground for mosquitoes to produce rampancy? Ouch! See? Mosquitoes are everywhere! Some say that there are precious herbs in Vienna's rainforest that is effective in chasing mosquitoes away. It would be very useful for our research. So stop complaining and help me find them. I see. Sir, look over there. There are some houses in front of us. Really? Let's go and check it out. Anybody here? You're welcome, visitors. I'm the tribe's elder, the leader of the tribe. But please still in our lovely little tribe. We haven't seen any visitors for quite a long time. Good evening, sir. We're here seeking the cure for dengue fever. I'm not sure whether you are in the right place. We do have some herbs that are effective in chasing mosquitoes away. But unfortunately, we don't know how to mix it with other herbs to make it take effect. My people have been sick for a while and we can't find the right formula. Don't worry. Professor X is an expert in chemistry. He can help you adjust the formula. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you so much. You're our savior. It's my pleasure. I'm glad I can help. One week later. 
So, unfortunately, the formula doesn't work again. My people are still getting very ill, and the number of the patient is even increasing. What should we do now? I don't understand, sir. We could make the most effective potion immediately before. What's wrong with our experiments this time? Ah, I have an idea. We have a magic lamp our ancestors passed on to us. It is said to grant any wishes from those who believe. Is this really gonna work? To turn to something supernatural? I'm Jeannie. I'm strong, powerful, and omnipotent. Tell me what you wish for, folks. Oh, my dear Jeannie, my people are now facing a life-threatening epidemic. Please help us contain the disease by finding a cure. I see. All the formulas have been tried, but none of them worked. Let me take a look. Oh, the human steam are too fragile for a powerful guy like me. Don't worry, I'll clean it up. So let me see if I mix this portion with this one. Yes, this is perfect. This is going to be the perfect portion. Oh, that's it. What kind of genie I am? I can't do anything well. You can't give up. You're genie of the magic land. You're the whole tribe's hope. Oh, I feel a little dizzy. Ah, okay. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Whoa, he's so hot. He must have dengue fever. High fever is one of his symptoms. He got a mosquito bite when we were in the rainforest. This must be the reason. Oh, it's all my fault. If I didn't screw it up, maybe the medicine had already taken effect. Whoa, did you hear that? Where did that holy sound from? What? Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, what? What happened to me? He came to himself. Genie, I think you found the perfect formula. Thank you. Thank you so much, Genie. You're our hero. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. After all, I'm strong, powerful, and omnipotent. Now I can make it into vaccine or medicine. People around the world can be saved. This is our newly found vaccine and cure for dengue fever. We wholeheartedly thank our genuine friends from Taiwan. They spare no efforts to help us fight against dengue fever. With their help, we can prevent more death from dengue fever. With our precious earth, from Vietnam, we couldn't make it. And we believe the friendship between Taiwan and Vietnam is cemented and can last for a long time. Now, thank you.